Another day had just begun, and the garden was coming to life. Down at the bottom of the garden, near the shed, was an old broken sundial nobody wanted. On the sundial was a snail, a snail with an unusual thought. This is the sort of day when something should be interrupted. It was all rather pleasant, and Mr. Harrison the snail was bored. It's just that I'm in an interrupting mood. And when one is in a mood like that, there's nothing one would rather do than interrupt something, however trivial it might be. Oh, just look at the place. It's all so tedious. Why can't I live somewhere where there's life and excitement? Oh, I give up. I'm going indoors. Oh, dear. Boring, boring. Wait a minute. Why should I stay here? Hang on. Is this me talking? Well, yes, it is. And I like what I hear. Ah! <laughs> ah, so this is what freedom's like. Marvelous, splendid, the best thing ever. Freedom, freedom, freedom. There's nothing like it. It's better than jam. Nothing is better than jam. I beg your pardon? I said, you cross-eared clown, nothing was better than jam. Who are you calling a cloth-eared clown? You. And if you don't like it, you can lump it. I've never heard anything like it. It shouldn't be allowed. I am a very well-respected member of this garden. I will not be spoken to like that by a common stone. Oh, yes? Yes. Who was it who said that this garden was a tedious place to live? Well, I... Who wanted to live somewhere more exciting? But I... Who said that freedom was better than jam? Well, I did, but... Yes, you did. So why don't you use your freedom and go and find somewhere else more exciting? Because, um... Well, because I... Well, I don't want to go now. Really? Yes, really. Oh. Ah. Oh. Do you know what our friend the snail says, boys? Mm. He says he doesn't want to go now. Oh, he doesn't, does he? Well, tell him we don't want him here. Oh, help. Get me alone. Leave me alone. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get help. Lost. Oh, help. Get help. Lost. Someone, come, come quick. Get him. Get him. Oh. Get him. 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 Ah, hurry, hurry. Just the very spider. I'm being pursued by some very nasty stones. You must help me. Help you? I... I don't understand. Yes. Help me. You are, after all, a friend. Of yours? Well, yes, of course, of mine. Who do you think I mean? The sundials? Actually, I'm a very close friend of the sundial. But I can't say I remember you. Can't remember? No, I don't think what do you so. Mean you can't remember me. I'm the one you always used to say hello to. You know, uh, hello, good morning, how do you do, and uh, so on. Wait a minute. Harrison. Ah, good. You do remember. I knew you would. Yes, I remember all right. You're the one who, uh, who doesn't like the garden because you think it's, uh, boring. Oh, no. And unexciting. Oh, help. And you even prefer freedom, whatever that is, to jam. There oh, he is, boy. Leave me alone. Come on. Let's get oh, him. Not again. That's it, uh, you rot. Throw him out. He doesn't deserve to live in the garden as nice as his house. Oh, dear, dear. Oh. Excuse me, please. Um, I am the most clumsidacious of beings. Lambus, is that you? Excuse me, sir? Wonderful snail, sir? Uh, do you know me? Well, of course I know you, Lambeth. You are Lambeth, the strong and splendid beetle. Oh, sir. Uh, no, not me, sir. I am the servant of the wise and powerful anorak. The woodlouse. Uh, Pillbug, if you don't mind, sir. Uh, call him Pillbug, or he'll have you eaten. Eaten? By that pillowhouse? I mean, the, the, the woodlouse? Shh. 
cold. This is idiotic. Lambeth, you oh. numbskull, where are you? Not searching for that elusive oh, brain of yours. Me. Come here at once. Now, steady on. I'm the only one allowed to call Lambeth brainless. This needs some sorting out. <laughs> ah, Lambeth, there you are. I was just planning to have you hung upside down, covered in warm jam, and licked until you disappear, or maybe even flatten. Oh, sorry, sir. Um... Pillbug, sir. Thank you. I am the beetle with the greatest lazitude I know. But you see, I just bumped into a friend, as you might say. Who is this friend? I am Mr. Harrison, the snail. So you're Harrison, are you? I am. We've been looking for you. We? Oh. Oh. Back, you lot. You'll have your chance to get at him later. Oh. This must all be done properly. Make everything ready. Make everything ready. <laughs> Is everyone here? Yes, oh, ancient one. Including that scoundrel who said he didn't oh. like the garden. That's him. Leave me alone. Yes, well, he's a nasty-looking piece of work. But old and ancient, it's me. Quiet. Oh. If there's one thing I hate, it's noise. And you are exceptionally noisy. Come on, then. Let's get on with it. I've got some sleep to catch up with. Uh, this snail is accused of saying certain things. What sort of certain things? Quiet. Oh. That's my question. What sort of things? Things like, um, this garden is tedious. You leave me alone. And, uh, boring. Oh. And that jam is not as good as freedom. Oh. 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 Yes, great and wise caterpillar, have him oh. eaten at once. Just one point, first of all. What is this freedom? Well, it's, uh... Um, well, speak up. Don't mumble. Well, it means you can move around wherever you like and do what you like. Do what you like? Yes. Wherever you like? That's right. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have that. Jam's much better than that. Take him away. Have him eaten oh, at once. But you can't eat me. I'm snail. Snails don't taste that nice. Maybe you could do something else with me. Oh, take him away. I'm so sleepy. Ah, you won't catch me. Leave me alone. Go away. I'm too nice with the other two lot. Push off. Harrison, Mr. Harrison, do come out. You're making the strangest noises. Oh, go away. You're not going to eat me. Eat you? We won't eat you, Mr. Harrison. We're your friends. Friends? My friends. That's right, yes. Harrison, old chum. It's us. Oh, Lambeth. You're you. <laughs> of course I'm me. Who else did you expect? And Anorak, you're an insignificant woodlouse again. Pillbug, please, if you don't mind, oh, Mr. Harrison. the garden's lovely, just as I remember it. Oh, not tedious at all. Not boring. And jam is much, much better than freedom. What happened, Mr. Harrison? I was asleep, Ladybird. At least I think I was asleep. And the oddest things were happening. Like, that stone moved and talked to me. And everyone knows that stones don't talk. Do they? Oh, no, it's doing it again. Ah, help. The stones are after me. Oh, help. Oh, what shot with Mr. Harrison? He saw that stone move. Of course it moved. I moved it. I keep bumping my head on it, you see. <laughs> see Mr. Harrison running off. You know, I don't think I'll ever understand snails. Or their stone dreams. <laughs> so I suppose the worm moved his stone into a better position. The rest of the creepy crawlies settled down to watch the sun go down beyond the old broken sundown. Nobody wanted. <laughs>